Hi folks, Marcus here from Country Wood Smoke HQ and today I'm cooking a picanha on the rotisserie. So I'm here with my friend Phil from Meter. Hi Phil, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So first time at this new location and uh, we're going to cook a lovely picanha. Jo I've got a confession, I've never cooked picana. Love my beef, love it, but my butcher doesn't seem to be able to get me picana, so really looking forward to it. It's a real treat. So picanha is the rump cap and it's sat on top of the rump there. And it, mm -hmm. for me, it's the best bit of the rump. And actually it's probably one of my favorite bits of beef and I love it. Um, and I've got a treat here from my local butcher here at the farm shop and um, this beautiful picanha. And it's got, you can see that there's like a couple of muscles in it and a seam through the middle there but look at the fat in in there the marbling in there and the best thing about the picanha is you've got this lovely fat cap on here so we need to get that nice and crispy and uh, it's going to be wonderful but it's it's that fat in there so this is the best bit of the rump really it's wonderful and it's delicious so i'm going to show you how to do it cool how i like to do it so you could do it as a roast like that yeah and pop your meter in and then you're looking 47 degrees and then that'll be ready. Um, perfect, but we're gonna do it uh, on the rotisserie and uh, it's such a good way of cooking it. Get that fat nice and crispy. Okay, so we're gonna slice this, mate, into um, three or four pieces, roughly equal. Because it's a wedge shape, you always get a bit on the end that's a bit smaller. So you get bigger bits, a medium bit, and a smaller bit usually. So okay. let's go. So if you wanna... Um, have a go so keeping it in line with that just okay. slice through the fat there okay. so it's, go right yeah, there. that's it yeah perfect there we go, there we go. that's the first one Look at that. oh my god beautiful fat that's going to keep it nice and juicy so roughly there. Back there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh my god. And I think we'll just keep that one as a hole. Yeah, keep it like that. So that's a nice little one like that. So okay. It sort of wedges out there, but we'll keep it just like that. Okay. Good. Cool. Okay. Let's get it on the skewer. So. I'll do one and then you can do the others. So yeah, fine. what I'm going to do is do the big one in the middle mm -hmm. and then a smaller one either end. So coming from the top here, using the board to push it through like that. Needs a bit of force to get it through. Yeah. There we go. And then onto that skewer there, like that, just to hold it in place. Okay. There you go, if you want to do the big one, yep. and then we'll do the other one. Okay, so let's get the barbecue lit. It's gonna go on the Hellraiser with this rotisserie attachment. Nice, simple, easy cook. Uh, no pepper, just salt and a bit of fire. So let's get this charcoal on. Sounds good. Okay, so Kenya's on mate, um, we need to get some temperature control and meter 
glass is absolutely perfect for this. Um, it's no wires, so it means we can use it on a rotisserie without having wires wrapped around. It's the only one that does that, and it is amazing for that. So let's get it in. So we're going to go for this one here, okay. the middle sized one, and then pop it in from the side there. Okay, so probe's in, it's turning. Let's set up the cook. So uh, opening my meter app, set up, cook, beef. Then we've got picanha. Oh, there's a setting for picanha there. Okay. Very cool. Uh, How do you like your picanha, your rum? Let's go for medium rare. Medium rare, good choice. Medium rare, so 57, start cook. There we go. Done. Done. Easy. Okay, cool mate, so that's been nice and easy, that chunk of cherry's been on there, so that will give it some nice flavours, and the meat is now saying to remove from the heat, cool. so it's time to rest it, so if you want to go and grab it, that end, and then we'll rest it on the board for a little bit, so it's good. amazing my mouth's watering I don't know about yours but uh, it looks beautiful so meat has done its job now it's told us it's nicely rested um, you can see the juices coming out of it so pop that away and uh, let's have a taste you ready mate <laughs> yeah. beautiful I love Pecania so I'm gonna go Tarasco style like this and slice pieces off like this there we go Look at that, how juicy is that? So it's all about getting a piece with a bit of that lovely buttery fat. So we'll have a few slices off this middle bit here. And get you some with some fat on. So that fat's crisped up lovely. So let's try that first as is, but I've got some chimichurri here as well awesome. um, to go on it, um, which will go perfectly with it. So. Let's have a go and grab a bit with that bit of fat and have your first bit of uh, the canya that you've cooked yourself. Pretty it's special, so isn't good. it? Yeah. The on a rotisserie is just about one of my favourite things. I think when people talk about the master <laughs> water, when people talk about beef fat and they use the words like butter and yeah, right, I think this is the first time. I've, I've eaten like ex dairy and things like that. Mm. I think this is the first time that it really does taste milky. Yeah. You know, like creamy, yeah. creamy, buttery. You can really taste the like. Sort of, oh. Yeah. Try it a little bit with my homemade uh, chimichurri there. There you go. I'll cut you a smaller bit. Yeah. Says the chimichurri. <laughs> yeah. There you go. See what you think. So that's just a nice, simple homemade chimichurri. It just works with it. It doesn't override the flavour because you still have beautiful grass fed beef that is you still want to taste that yeah and it, just so fresh it cuts through that fat without kind of dumbing it down yeah it works with it works mm. with the beef doesn't it so beautiful there we go cool thank you well there we go that's uh picanha on the rotisserie nailed with meter to make sure that temperature as you can see that's perfectly cooked there delicious great job meter lovely bit of beef so i hope you've enjoyed this video remember that box over there smash it subscribe to my channel let me know you like what i'm doing do you like picania comment below thank you